Hi guys, this is Renee, and today I'm going to show you how to create a download page for your content upgrade. This download page that I'm going to show you is created using WordPress, self-hosted WordPress, and um, Thrive Content Builder and Thrive Leads. But this is specifically a tutorial on how to create this page right here. This is the download page that people are sent to whenever they opt into your email list and you have given them, you're going to give them a content upgrade. What happens is, and I wanted to talk about the process just as a little refresher for this series. So what happens is a user comes to your site, a reader, and they enter their email address into your light box pop up or however you set up your page for them to sign up. The next thing that happens is they are redirected to a three step um, thank you page. This three step thank you page, by the way, is optional, but in the previous video, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should just go back to my um, thank you page video and you'll see why I think this is important. But it is optional, but I do highly recommend it. The next thing that'll happen is the user, the sub new subscriber, needs to confirm their email, which means they have to go to their email. So if they're using Gmail or you know Outlook or whatever, they have to go to their email and they click the confirm. And when they click the confirm, they will receive a link to the download page, which is what we're going to discuss in this video. That download page is what they will go to to download their new content upgrade. So there's a lot of steps involved, but it's not difficult. So I'm gonna show you how to create a page like this one. All right, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to pages and click on add new. Then you're gonna give this page a name. So I'm just gonna call this download example and hit save draft. Now we're going to click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. If you have not purchased Thrive Content Builder yet, you can use the um, link in the below the video or below the post here, and you'll have a my affiliate link, and I appreciate you using it. Thank you very much. But I love Thrive Content Builder because they have all of these pre-designed templates and make building landing pages super simple, which I'm gonna show you right now. So click on edit with Thrive Content Builder. It has to Freshen up, refresh, give it a second. All right. Now, if you notice, um, this is a blank page on my site, but if you remember, I want it to look like this, which is a landing page. So here's what we're gonna do. Over here, you'll click on Thrive Landing Pages, choose landing page. All right. Now, Thrive has a ton of um, landing page templates that you can then customize, or of course, you can start with a blank landing page and design your own. But I don't have time for that. So over here on the left, they also categorize for us because they have so many, they have broken them into categories. So I'm gonna choose download. And if you notice, they have quite a few download pages. So they are really set up to help you on your content upgrade journey. I like this one right here, the personal branding download. So I'm gonna select that. You know it's selected because it has the green check mark. And then I'm going to click load landing page. It is going to update the page and you will see what happens next. It's really great. All right. All right, so now we have that page. Looks very similar to this one, right? All right. Um, first thing is you wanna put in your logo. So all you have to do is put your mouse over the words, your logo and left mouse click. Then you click on change image. You find your logo. I have a lot of images here. Let's see, here's one. Let's just use that one. I'm gonna say insert into post. It's really tiny, so you probably wanna use a bigger one, but for the sake of conversation, we're gonna go with it. So the next thing it says, thank you for signing up. Click the, down, the start button to begin the download. Now you could change this text if you want to. I leave it alone because it's pretty darn good. But if you wanna say something different or you wanna change the color, you just left mouse click, put your, your cursor in there and you could start typing. You could highlight, thank you. Oops. And then you could click on the palette and you could change the color. Pretty simple, huh? Now, the next thing that we need to do is enter that download. So if you have been following along in my series, then you are using Download Monitor. And here is the Download Monitor download that I created. Over here, it says URL, so I'm just going to copy and paste that, use Command C, Command um, Command A for select all, Command C for copy. And then I'm gonna come back to the page that we're editing and I'm just going to click 
on Start Download. Then I'm going to click on Link Settings. And then I'm going to paste that URL in there. I'm going to click on New Window, click on New Follow, and select outside of there to close that. I'm going to Save Changes. We are going to preview the page. All right, and if I click on Start Download, it downloaded the document. So I know that it worked well. If we want to, we can even look at that PDF. And there it is. Pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to close this, this preview so we can get back to the page. Now, if you notice, we have um, our sample guys image on here. We would definitely want to change that and put a picture of ourselves because we're saying thank you. So change the image. Find a picture of yourself. See if I can find one real quick. You can also upload just like normal WordPress. If you wanted to, you could just upload a picture yourself. I am going to pretend for a moment that this is me because there you go. You notice how whenever I put an image in there, obviously you want to put an image yourself, but it made it fit into that circle and that's really nice. So next thing you want to do is change your name. If you can type your name. <laughs> Enjoy your free report. I like this. So here's a little cheater thing. If you have the ability, you can put your signature in there and that's really the best thing to do. But I didn't really um, have everything set up for that. My equipment for that is put in another room right now, put away. So I cheated and just used the signature there. Shame on Renee, but that's just the truth. Okay, so now, so that's totally up to you by the way. Um, now, I down here at the footer, you need to change your name to your name. So I'm going to put I teach blogging and you need to link this disclaimer. So highlight the, the word disclaimer. We'll put your URL in there for whatever your disclaimer page is. Click open a new window, no follow, click insert. Hit save changes, and believe it or not, we are done. You can close this tab. You can preview it one more time if you want to just look at it. Looks fine. Obviously, my logo is small, and that's not a picture of Renee, but that's okay. So close this tab. We've already hit changes, so we can close this tab. And we can go back to the page. Now, in this page, all that's left is to publish it. That's it. It's really simple. All right, guys. Now listen, if for whatever reason you do not want to use Thrive Content Builder, you do not want to purchase it, and you just want to create a page, you could just do that. You could take this link from edit, your edit download link. You could um, add a piece of, let's say you, need, you, you would need to make a button, by the way, for sake of conversation. This is the button that you've made. You insert it into the file, you say edit, you click custom URL, you paste your link in there, you update that, and then when you publish the page, this would be a, the button that they click on to download their file. You would obviously want to put in some content in there and say thank you very much. You would create a button image. Um, if you're looking for somewhere to create a button image, there's all kinds of free sites online. Just Google button generator and you'll find a button generator. It won't look as fancy, but it'll still be there and it'll be perfectly fine and they'll still get their content upgrade. So I hope that helps. Everybody have a good day and blog on. Thank you.